this is an informational book about pigs. What do you know about pigs before we get started? Mud. They do like mud, don't they? And dirt. Yeah. So the author starts this out by just telling us all the different sounds that that pig would make. Oink, Oink. snort, Oink. squeal. So that's really the only dialogue that's in this book. And then he talks about the pig and the sounds it makes. And he talks about where pigs live and what their bodies are like. The author uses thick. Can you find the word thick on that page? Thick. How do you know that word is thick? Because it starts with a T. Yeah, that th and, sound, right? And it sounds like an I and X and then a C or a K. Yeah, it has that ick part at the end. So they have thick bodies. Hmm. Oh, now this one has what? It has some hair on it, doesn't it? Uh -huh. What's it doing? Rolling in the mud. Yeah. Oh, such a cute. Yeah, those look like cute pigs, don't they? Mm-hmm. This one talks a little bit about their tail. We're learning lots about pigs. Oh, do you know that there's male and female pigs? Uh-huh. Yeah, do you know what a male pig might be called? Mm -hmm. The author tells us it's called a boar. And then the female pig is called something We'll have to figure that out, okay? Ooh. What are you noticing this part is gonna talk about? The baby pigs start drinking the monster. Yeah, do you know what baby pigs are called? Um, I think it's about cats, mm -hmm. but I don't know. They're called piglets. Can you find the word piglets on that page? Piglets, yep, yeah, it's got the word pig in it. And it piglets means babies. Oh, oh goodness. What are they eating? Corn. Yeah. And they eat other kind of grains too, don't they? Mm -hmm. Now this one shows what we eat that is made from pigs. And this page says most pigs are raised for meat. That means people have them on their farm so that they can make them into meat. So they're raised for meat. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, they're raised for it. They get paid for that. Mm, why would there be a football on that page? I don't know. Did you know they use the skin of pigs to make footballs and to make, what is this? Mm, looks like a wallet. It does. And that's all made of leather. Yeah. Oh. This page talks about how smart pigs are. They're smart animals. Uh -huh. And then we have an index. So if we want to find out what words are on that page, we would go to that page, right? Or, so let's read a little bit about pigs and see what more we can learn. Oink, snort, squeal. What? Animals. Animals make that sound. <laughs> Pigs make that sound. Mm, goodness. Let's see what where they live. Most. Pigs live on farms. Pigs have snouts. Thick bodies.
<laughs> Some people might call them. Fat. Oh my goodness. Because some are fat. They are fat, aren't they? Okay. Let's read more about their skin. A. about what we're reading about. A pig's skin, right? Skin is thick. Everyone's hmm. What do you think? I'm wondering if you know this word. It might help you get that one started. What's this word? Love. Love. So get this started. Cov. Covered with hair. Hmm. Pigs like what do they like to do? Roll. Try it. Pigs like to roll in the mud to cool off. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. So you just had to think about what pigs like to do. All right, let's read a little bit about their noses and tails. Pigs have a What are you thinking there? What do you think the author is trying to tell us there? This word is nose. This word is going to describe the nose. So authors use descriptive words. How would we describe their nose? They have a round. Does that make sense? Yeah, they have a round nose. So that's a descriptive word called a, what do they call their noses? Snout. Yeah. Also, have a so here's that descriptive word. Now they're describing the tail. What do you think about that? How would you describe their tail? Like a How would you describe it, though? Mm. Would you say they're short or long? Short. Okay. Do, would you say they're straight or curly? Curly. Let's see if those words might help us. They also have a straight. short. So again, the author is describing the tail. Pigs have four. Now he's describing their legs. Short legs. Yeah, so that's one thing you can do as a reader. You can think, is the author describing? And that helps you solve. All right, I'm going to read this page to you because this is new information. A male pig is called a boar. A female pig is called a... Hmm. What do you think it's called? Do you know this word? That word is cow. So if that's a cow, what is this word? 
sow. Did you know that's the sow? They call a female pig a sow. So now you learn a new word, right? Mm -hmm. So they're a male or a boy is called a boar, and a female is called a sow. Let's read about the piglets. Put your finger in there. Baby pigs are, you know this first part. Try it. What are they called? Piglets. piglets. Yeah, they're called piglets. Sow can have 8 to 12 piglets at a time. Piglets drink their mother's milk and grow very fast. fast. Yep. Oh my goodness. On farms, pigs eat corn, oats, and other grains. Pigs will eat almost yeah they might that's silly right mm -hmm. let's go to this back page pigs are smart animals they can learn tricks some people have pigs as pets and now the author has a question for us would you like a pig as a pet Say more about that. Because if it's like a baby pig, I can like take care of it. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So what did you learn from our book on pigs? What is something you didn't know before you started reading? Um, what do you think? Called boars. boars. Yeah. And girls like to clean sows. Yeah, that's new information, isn't it? That's what's so fun about reading informational books. It's, it fills your brain, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. So, one of the things I want you to think about as a reader is this exact same page. When we saw this word, you knew the word cow, right? or I helped you with that. You can use other words to help you read words in the book. So you can think, do I know a word that looks like that? You might know cow, and you might even know this word. Now. Now, right. So those are words you know that could get you to a new word. All right, so that's something to think about. All right.